the Diablo Swing Orchestra. Uh, what can you tell us about your music? Well, uh, first and foremost, I would say that it's a mixture of everything we can come up with. I, I'm guessing that's our strip or what we're known for. That we like to incorporate all different kinds of music from all over the world and uh, combine it with hard rock or metal. That would be like the quick and efficient way to talk about it. Okay. Uh, I'm sure there has to be a name behind uh, the story behind the name of the band. What can you tell us about the name of the band? How did well, you come up with it? Uh, it's something we played around with in the early days to bring some kind of. Should we go out and say that this is no longer a yes. or yeah. background story? <laughs> <laughs> but um, there was a story going that we were like ancestors of uh, some people from the past. Let's talk about it. No, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but um, it's just, it's just a, a good name for a, our musical collective, kind of. Building up mystery around yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it, it explains kind of what it is by not explaining what it is. Okay. Because. Um, what are we? We are a group of really weird people doing weird stuff together and uh, writing weird songs. And it's a swing orchestra, but it's really not. The tradition says it's not, but, no. but it's that as well. Okay. And it also gives us a very big musical freedom to express ourselves, because with that kind of name, we can put whatever we want into it, and it still kind of fits that frame. So it helps us to, to, because if you have a good name for a band or for a song or for an album or for whatever you do, it's easier to have something to stand behind you and say, well, this is us, and it's kind of a branding thing, I would say, in a sense. Okay. Uh, you come from Sweden, but I realize that most of the lyrics from your songs are in Spanish and I think I noticed some other languages. Uh, what is the relationship between <laughs> yeah, all I mean, this? Yes, we, I think we like to like play around. With, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's also because we travel yeah. when we play. We don't play much at home. We always tend to travel uh, to our audience. And we meet a lot of very nice people. We approach very different cultures. And that always enriches kind of how we approach our music making and our songwriting. So it was for us a kind of thing to try, to write a song in Spanish, approach kind of a Japanese kind of a, what do you call it, like a manga, <laughs> yeah, yeah, ma manga kind of an anime kind of yeah. song, but the, these are all things that we just, it tickles our curiosity to try try out these things. And, and, and we should also add that we, we do it with an utmost respect for the original kind always, of uh, always. Like when culture. Always. Like we celebremos. Yeah, yeah really exactly. Much, like yeah, we, we want to be able to pronounce the words correctly, so we bring in someone who is uh, from Mexico, actually, because his song is about Mexican kind of uh, traditions. Traditions, and, yeah, Los Muertos. Yeah. yeah. So someone is there and listening to it, this is um, close enough so we can actually stand behind it and that it's something that sounds right and otherwise we don't do it. It's very important to be respectful, always. Yeah, and, and, and it's our take on that genre or culture. So uh, I know there have been some discussions online about musical appropriation or cultural appropriation that we, it's not that you're making fun of or something we, we really try our best to pay respect to whatever we try to incorporate in our music thank you yeah, this is great right, more. okay uh you the first time in romania how did it feel to you how <laughs> amazing was it? Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it was actually way above expectations because we, we we didn't know what to expect because we never played here and and, and uh, we had no clue how nice of a venue it would be and, and everything when, when we came here. So it was. Yeah, every, yeah. everyone also working backstage, yeah. every, everything that's been just taking care of us all day. And yeah. it, it's really. We have uh, encountered some uh, not very nice experiences <laughs> in this field as well. When you come and nothing is ready, no one shows up, and you just. Like what is this? Yeah, like we yeah. have a dressing room within the toilets and with it's and no toilets show. for the ladies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it can be from down here to up here, and, and Romania so far 
from what the experience has been yeah, fantastic. Yeah, both yeah. yeah. audience wise yeah. and also how we've been taking yeah. care yeah. of it. Yes. Absolutely. Sometimes so we'd love to come back. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But today. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, now that they're approaching the end of the interview, do you have a message for the public? Do you have a message for the audience? I think we do, right? Yes, and and uh, in terms of maybe if you approach it from a wider perspective, that uh, for every band, I think in these times it would be nice to send out a message that come to the shows, uh, spread the word, and try to support the bands that you like because the, it's a hassle for a lot of bands, especially from a, not the biggest bands perhaps, but the uh, uh, emerging bands trying to make this into a living or do it on a regular basis. Try to support them in, in any way that's possible for you. We understand that not everyone can come to the show or can travel all over the world, but try to do something to, to add to the experience for everyone. Because, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work for all the bands that, that do this with travel, writing music. And there's a lot, I mean, if, if you look at the hour ratio, how much time you put into it and what you get paid for it, it's not comparable. And, and, and that's okay for most bands because we love to do this. But it has come to a, a, a stage where, where uh, so many bands have to stop touring because they can't afford to tour. The, the plane tickets, the, the, the gasoline, everything, the price is skyrocketing and you, we need the support of the, of the audience and, and the uh, people coming to the show. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.